Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be installing the mini windscreen on the Street Triple RS. It's pretty simple, just a few bolts and they have a few of the hardware. And then a five millimeter Allen wrench. Let's get started. So first we're gonna remove the bolt right here and then there's one on the other side. This slides right up. Oof, a little dirty. I have to clean it. Okay, and now for here, there's three bolts. There's one right there, one right there, and the other one right there. Same size, five millimeter. Two on the left and right, um, they're black, so just uh, info. So, in case you go to put it back, you know, put the silver one in this place <laughs> and just hold the and just hold the front fairing, and it slides right out. And then you gotta disconnect the plug that's down here. This is what it looks like when you remove the front fairing. And there's a little dirt in there. Alright, just put some small soft uh, so it doesn't scratch it. And then I'm gonna clean the these protector fairings before I put it all back together. It's pretty dirty and disgusting. Pretty easy uh, install. It's not that hard. Clean this one. Make them shiny again. Okay, now you're gonna open the hardware pack that they sent us. Okay, so there's like two clear decals. So, let's see where they go. All right, so I figured out where the clear decals go. So, let me move this hardware out of here. They go right here for when it rubs up against the plastic. Let's see. Let's see one there. Doesn't have to be accurate, it's just so it doesn't wear on the plastic, I guess, from rubbing. Yeah, right there. Alright. So before you install the um, windscreen to the fairing, we have these uh, two clips. So they're gonna go right in here. In these two spots. I mean, it should be easy to just push in. Well, yes, it's not that easy to push in. And we got it, all the clips are in. Now we're gonna put the windscreen in. So,
So it's got these two tabs right at the top. You got two tabs. And then you got a tab there and a tab, two tabs there. All these tabs have to click in place before. And you push down. Okay. Uh, two screws that you got with the pack. They hold the windscreen and secure. Both of them started. I don't want to scratch my new precious windscreen. <laughs> we'll have to road test it and see what it's like with the text and wind. That's what it looks like on the on the fairing. Clean it up in a little bit, but I have to clean it again once it's all together. It's supposed to be, this is supposed to deflect some of the wind, so in case you get like neck injuries or just to help deflect some of the wind off your head. But we'll see. All right, now we're gonna put it back together. Let's get the two right ones started first. And the two black screws go to the left and the right. Just start them up and then tighten them once they're all in. Get the top one. This one's a little bit harder because you gotta hold it all the way in. <clears throat> So the center one is the silver one, and the left and right are the black screws. Put the screws back on.
There you have it guys, that's what it looks like with the windscreen on. Makes it look a little bit uh, neater. It's not a bad look for the bike. In case you have the same bike and you're looking to, wondering how to put it together, it's pretty simple. I mean, a few bolts, uh, you saw a little bit of trouble getting the middle um, screw in. It's not too bad, but other than that, it's pretty simple and it makes the bike uh, look pretty good. Um, I'll take a video and seeing what the benefits are of having a windscreen on. Yeah, with the mini windscreen on the um, Triumph Street Triple, um, it really helps with wind blasts. Um, so especially if you have like neck problems, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty helpful. Even though it's really tiny, it looks like it doesn't do much, but it does help with uh, keeping uh, blocking some of the air off of you. Yeah, if you like the looks of the mini windscreen on the street, it's a great add-on. It's, it's It makes the bike look a lot sharper, too. I think so. Um, it does block some wind. I mean, don't expect it to block wind in cold weather and keep you warm or um, keeping you from getting wind blasted. But it does help with uh, in case you have neck problems or if you don't like uh, just all this air completely going under your neck or... It, it does help with keeping control of your head. Plus, I, I added the one spoiler to my ride helmet, so between the two of them, it helps it. And if I want to uh, tuck in and take it on the highway speeds, then it does help a lot. Um, so I highly recommend it, guys. I mean, if you're looking for some some little add-on to your butt on the street to make it look better, plus it does a little bit of a job of blocking the wind, it's highly recommended. Um, if you guys like this video, please give me a like and a subscribe. I hope you guys uh, stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Thanks, guys. One of my favorite parts of the twisties coming up. I love this part. I, I go flying through here sometimes, but it's late at night and deer come out.